Here's an old video from the vault. I hope you enjoy. G'day folks. I've got this ViewSonic monitor. It's about a 24 inch or 26, I think it's 24. And I paid $4.40, which is a weird price for it. And it's got a bit of a problem. It's plugged into a power board. It's got AC, the power light's on there. But it's worse than that, it's dead, Jim. Pushing this power button does nothing. This monitor has absolutely no life whatsoever. So I'm going to attempt to open it and see if I can fix it. Uh, it's a power supply related issue. So obviously the first thing I'm going to do is unplug it. Now I have it laid down on a towel face down. First thing I'm going to take off is this base once I figure out how it comes off. For those of you that are interested, it's a ViewSonic VX 2235WM. Now I can see there's a screw in here at the top. There's also one at the other side here. I'll uh, remove these two screws and see if I can pop the casing apart. Really tiny screws too. Right, well these covers just popped off sideways. It's revealed, it's revealed the screws for the base mounting. Now as they go into metal threaded uh, eyelets here on the chassis through the plastic, I would have had to have removed the base anyway in order to get the casing apart and find a hidden screw. With a bit of luck, I should be able to start popping the casing apart. It's coming, it's coming. I've got a gap there now. I just use a screwdriver and pried it off the bottom. It doesn't matter if I use, do it at the bottom there because, well, you're not gonna see it. But now I've gotta try and uh, get the sides up on the other side here and separate the two halves which is going to be awfully fun. Okay, persistence pays off. Now, getting a look at this, uh, well, that piece of tape is now useless. Uh, I've got to undo a screw there. Two there by the looks of things. And there's one buried up here, or down there, it depends on which way the model is facing. It's facing the right way up. There isn't one on this side. I will have to disconnect the CCFLs though. Right, and then in order to remove the shield, I had to undo the socket and undo these peripheral connections. There's our power supply there, and I can see one problem. This capacitor is bulging. There's definitely a bit of a bulge there. And that one is also bulging. So, if I properly replace those two capacitors, it may power back on again. The rest of the capacitors look fine. Uh, it's just those two are suspect. I can't see any other signs of bulging capacitors. Usually if a capacitor starts bulging like that, it's dried out and is on the verge of venting. And this one just obviously just shut down because, well, that capacitor there next to that heat sink looks like one of the uh, chopper side capacitors. That 220 microfarad, which I've already identified, I'm not sure what that does, but it's on the low side, I believe. High side's up here, and low side's down here. There's also a little fuse there, which I'll also check with a multimeter. Pastors are low voltage values, so I'm pretty sure I can find a replacement somewhere in the amount of uh, junk pile I've got sitting over in the corner. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is yet. I think it's a 1000 microfarad, but I'll verify that in a minute when I take it out. Okay, well I've got the two new, well, second hand capacitors in there and we'll see what happens now when I connect power to it. Alright, I've got the shield back on and a couple of screws holding it in because I don't really want to power it up with it all exposed in case something goes bang. Uh, so now I'm going to plug it in and see if it powers up. Uh, nope, it's still dead. Uh, so there's something else wrong. Well, I've replaced nearly every single capacitor apart from that one there, that one there. And that one. There's only uh, three more to replace, but uh, this is like flogging a dead horse. If replacing any of those capacitors isn't fixing the problem, then, well, you could probably say the board is hooked. Okay, so it's back together now. I'm running out of daylight. Uh, this just goes to prove that even if you replace a couple of capacitors, doesn't mean to say the unit's going to work. So I'm going to have to wait until I can get hold of another power supply module for it if I even bother. I may just keep it for the uh, LCD panel. But 
Anyway, thank you for watching.